Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's about 10 a.m. on Monday morning and I'm just getting ready to start my week. Over the weekend, I had my two little nieces come and stay with me and we had such a great time. I took them to the park, I took them to McDonald's, we watched movies and um, played and it was just really wonderful to be able to spend some quality time with them. And then on Saturday night, my boyfriend came over and stayed the night and he helped me with them and he was so good with them and so sweet with them and they just adored him. We had a great time. And then on Sunday, we went and dropped them back off at home and then Sunday afternoon we ended up going to the beach which was really fun um, but I was exhausted y'all I had no idea how much work caring for two children um, that age really is and it's like a little bit extra work because um, Olivia my younger niece has cerebral palsy so I have to you know do extra work to care for her and it was a lot. <laughs> I enjoyed every moment of it. I, that is not a complaint. It's just I didn't realize how much work it was and man how much work my sister must have to do every day of her life. It, she has those two plus another baby. So whew, that is rough. So I'm starting my day today with no makeup on because I want to do a makeup routine for you guys to show you what my new makeup routine is since the last time I filmed it. But I need a new tripod so I'm going to the store to buy a tripod and I have to get some groceries because I have no food in this house so let's go I may look a bit rough today because I am still pretty exhausted from the weekend to be honest with you also my car is trashed having two kids in the back seat of my car I had no idea how much destruction two small children could do to the back seat of a car so I'm gonna have to go clean up my car sometime this week and uh, also I am letting my eyebrows grow out as much as possible and not plucking them this week because I really want to go get them waxed before I go on vacation. We are leaving on Sunday to go on my beach vacation. Uh, my boyfriend and I, we're going to be gone for a week and uh, I want to get my eyebrows done and I kind of want to get a manicure. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do the manicure, but I'm definitely going to get my brows done. I have not had my brows professionally waxed um, since COVID, since before COVID. So yeah it's it's well overdue also in the daylight you can see how freckly i get in the sun so I, i've been spending a lot of time outside in the sun this summer and i get a lot of freckles all over my face you can see without makeup um i think they're really cute and i would like not to cover them up but I have been wearing some powder that does kind of cover them a little bit. Okay, I'm at Walmart, y'all, where I'm going in to get my um, tripod and also grab a few groceries. I don't buy meat at Walmart because it's usually disgusting, but I am gonna pick up a couple things while we're here. All right, just gonna grab a basket. Okay, I'm looking at this tripod right here for like $15. It's 52 inches. Oh, that's for like a phone. I wonder if I can put my camera on that. Here's one for a camera, 67 inches. So that's what I need so that I can film in more places in my house and get better angles. Okay, I just realized this is not a tripod, it's a monopod, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to get, I don't know, I guess this one down here that's 24 to 67 inches for 25 bucks. So I just don't see anything else here. Okay, this one for $15 also can hold my camera, I believe. It says for compact cameras, smartphones, and GoPro action cameras. So I have a compact vlogging camera. I think it will fit on there. I'm going to try this one. I picked up some Coke Zero Minis, y'all, because I just haven't been able to cut them out completely. But I'm drinking much less but I'm still buying them. I've also been wanting to get some heavy cream for my coffee instead of half and half. And they have this Horizon Organic Heavy Whipping Cream. The ingredients are grade A organic cream and gelin gum, which isn't perfect, but it's all right. So I think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm also gonna get some of my uh, Vital Farms organic pasture-raised eggs because I'm almost out of these and I wanna start cooking more breakfast for myself at home. I'm so happy that they started carrying these at Walmart at a semi-reasonable price. Oh, look at these egg bites. Eggs, bacon, and three cheese egg bites. I think I've bought these before. I think I'm gonna grab these and have these for breakfast this morning because I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm also gonna get some of this fully cooked bacon just because it's been so much easier for me to put this like in omelets and uh, just eat it plain if I need to without having to cook anything. So I'm gonna get some of that. And I'm gonna grab some pepper jack cheese. I really love pepper jack cheese and I haven't bought any in a long time. So I'm gonna grab just a little block of this. 
put that in the cart here. I'm also going to buy some of these smoked sausages because I can just put these in the air fryer and they make a really nice dinner, especially with like some sliced up cheese. They do have a little bit of sugar in them, but only one gram of carbs, so I don't think it's too bad. I'm going to grab those. And while I'm at Walmart, I'm going to grab some of these bacon cheddar burgers that I really love and I almost never buy them anymore, but I haven't had them in a while. They're really good. I like to just cook these in the air fryer and eat them for dinner with some butter, so I'm going to grab those. Um, there's my carnivore diet haul so far. All right, time to check out. That's all I'm gonna end up buying. I forgot to bring my bags. I'm gonna have to use plastic bags, darn it. I'm gonna try to cram it all into one bag if I can. So I use fewer. to get it all in one bag and then I'm just gonna carry the Cokes and the tripod. Okay, out of the car, you can see how trashed my back seat is. Well, I kind of covered up some of it with a blanket because there, I covered up some of it with a blanket. There's a lot of trash under that bank blanket and like mail and stuff. But anyway, my, my whole car needs to be vacuumed out. But we'll do that another time. Right now, I'm just going to load up my groceries to take home. I do need to go to Harps to get steaks, but I think I'm going to wait and do that. I'll just eat these sausages and stuff today. Okay, and I've got to keep the receipt in case the tripod does not work for me. I hope it does so I can film successfully in the bathroom today. All right, now going to put my cart in the cart corral because I always put my cart where it belongs and don't just leave it in the parking lot like an asshole. There we go. Leaving Walmart and I also realized I need to stop by the post office because I haven't stopped, I didn't stop by there at all last week. So I, I know at least two people told me they were sending me something. So I'm gonna stop by there real quick and see if I have any packages I need to pick up. So another thing that I wanted to talk about is the vacation that I'm going on, the beach vacation that I'm going on with my boyfriend. It, we are going to a nudist beach, so it's clothing optional, and I am nervous about it because, you know, I don't have the best, like, self-image when it comes to my body because of my weight loss and my loose skin and stuff. I'm feeling very nervous about it. Um, I know it's a place where people are very accepting and nobody really cares, but you, I just, I, I'm going to feel very vulnerable, and I think this is going to be very challenging for me. Um, but I think it's going to be challenging in a good way, and I hope, I hope it's going to help me be able to accept my body a little bit more. But I won't lie, I am very nervous about it. And it is clothing optional, like I don't have to take my clothes off, but I would feel even more weird if I was the only one who didn't, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I am feeling nervous, but also excited about it, and I'm ready to tackle the challenge of trying to accept myself how I am and accept my body how it is. I mean, I'm still getting skin surgery, but just because I wanna improve doesn't mean I can't love myself how I am now too. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm at the post office, so I'm gonna run in and see if I have any packages. Oh, we've got a couple of packages. Go pick these up at the front. Okay, y'all had two packages in there. One of them, I believe, is dog food that Olya sent me. The other one, I don't know, and then I have one more at home. We'll open these at the end of the vlog. That one was super heavy, and Olya said she was sending me some dog food, which is perfect timing because I just ran out last night, and I was going to have to go buy some more today. So, thank you so much, Olya. I know that's what it is, but we'll open it at the end of the vlog. I'm back home and in my kitchen, and I'm about to put these groceries away and make a little breakfast. And then after that, I'm going to try out this tripod and make sure it works. If it doesn't, we'll have to take it back but hopefully it will. I have been needing one of these so badly. It was only $15. So that's not bad if it helps me to film, you know, better angles and stuff for you guys. So let's get these groceries put away. My fridge, it isn't too messy actually. There's some leftover pizza from whenever I got the girls and my boyfriend um, some Domino's pizza. I ate chicken wings that night and I sent a lot of the pizza home with the girls. This is just some like leftover garlic knots or something that, um, that my boyfriend ordered. I've got my bacon here. Um, this squirt is also his. <laughs> if you see anything that's like I wouldn't eat in my fridge, it probably belongs to him. 
So I've got cheese and I keep my egg bites out. Also, I know I said I don't buy meat from Walmart and I usually don't with the exception of these bacon cheddar burgers because I freaking love them. But I was more talking about like steaks and stuff like that that I don't buy from there. I'll buy sausages from there too because they're usually pretty reasonably priced. And then I'm just gonna put my eggs away up here. All right, now I got a little bit of food in the fridge. I feel better. Opening up these egg bites that have 16 grams of protein in them. I'm gonna put them on a little plate and microwave them because I don't wanna eat them cold. I don't think they'd be very good cold. And I think you can just leave them, or I don't know, they fell out of the little cup. I'm just gonna put them on the plate like this. And I know I've had these before, I think when I was on the keto diet and I used to get these at Starbucks but they're, they're better than these. They do have a lot of shit ingredients. Look at that ingredients list, oh my God. This is probably not something I would eat regularly, but I just needed something really fast and kind of inexpensive to eat uh, this morning, so I grabbed these. I probably should have checked the ingredients first. It says to microwave them in the paper tray for 60 seconds, so I'm gonna put them back in the paper tray. Okay, let's see how they look now. Exactly the same as they looked when I put them in there. Let's see how they feel. Oh, they're warm. So it says to let them stand for one minute. Okay, I'm gonna take them out of the little tray and give them a try. I know they're not gonna be as good as the Starbucks ones, but they still should be pretty good. I mean, they taste pretty good. They are chock full of God knows what kind of additives and chemicals, but they are pretty good. You know what I want to do though? Is I want to try to make some of these little egg cups myself. I need to get a muffin cup and like some diced ham and cheese and eggs. And I think they'd be really easy to make by yourself. And that'd be a like a nice carnivore dish that I can make for the vlog. All right, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now I'm going to open up this tripod and see if it's what I needed. They were supposed to have a different one there for like $13 that was specifically for a camera, but I didn't see that one there. All they had was this one and then the monopod. So I'm hoping this one will do the trick. When Lodane was over here visiting, she had a tripod and I used it when I filmed in the bathroom and it was so helpful. I was like, why don't I have one of these? I need a tripod. Um, I used to have one at the other house, but it was Andrew's. I honestly don't know what ended up happening, ended up happening to it. But this one looks like it will do the trick. It looks like it has um, the little screw thingy. I don't know what that's called that I need on top. So I'm gonna try to put the camera on it and see how it goes. Gotta switch to filming on my phone. So this is my usual tripod setup right here. You can see um, it's very small and it's kind of hard to film like if I sit it on a table or something. So what I'm gonna do is take this camera off of the tiny tripod right here and put it on to this one. So let's see. Oh, is this the kind that you have to, tw you have to twist the camera around? Okay, I'll get it on there, I think. On my little one, it has like a little screw thing, so you don't have to actually twist the camera. Okay, um, yeah, that definitely fits. We just need to get it where we need it. Do you guys hear the dogs down there playing? You can kind of see them in the corner. Um, yeah, that definitely works. <laughs> Except for it just fell backwards. I just have to figure out how to adjust it and everything. And um, yeah, I've got a tripod for filming bathroom stuff and other things, awesome. Okay guys, time to do my makeup routine. I just got out of the shower and I put my hair up in a towel and then I do my makeup and then I do my hair after that. So the first thing I do is moisturize and I use Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Moisturizer with sunscreen. Here's what it looks like, it's a small bottle and um, I will link to all the products that I talk about in the description box. And the reason why I use this as my daily moisturizer is because it has retinol in it. And pretty much once you hit the age of 30, you should be using retinol products. I want to try to figure out how to make my own retinol creams and stuff, but until that day comes, I use Neutrogena. It's um, pretty affordable for retinol cream and um, it works pretty well. So I am 40 years old. I do have wrinkles. You can see I have some discoloration on my skin. I have a little bit of my sagginess. Like I'm just, I have aging skin. So I use retinol cream. I use this as my daily moisturizer. And then I also have a nighttime retinol moisturizer that I will show you in my nighttime routine video. So I just take a couple little pumps of this. It doesn't take very much. And then I just put this all over my face and especially make sure to get it on my forehead because that's one of my problem areas. And then also on my neck right here. 
because that's another one of my problem areas. I've lost um, almost 100 pounds, and so I have a little bit of loose neck skin right here from that, plus just the aging skin in general. And um, it's kind of a it's kind of a bothersome thing for me, so I try to always put retinol cream right there. Next product that I use after moisturizing is Elf's Luminous Putty Primer. Okay, I'm sorry, all my makeup is, is a mess, so I'm sorry about how it looks. All my makeup has like powder and crap all over it. I don't know, I'm a mess. But anyway, I use e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, which I need to get some more, I'm almost out. I love this stuff. It gives your skin a nice luminous glow and it really helps your other makeup just go on smoothly. And so I have, you know, pores, obviously, because I'm a human being, and it helps my pores not show um, so much. So I just put this, a little bit of this all over my face. Um, from forehead all the way down to like my chin and neck right here. Anywhere that I'm going to put makeup, obviously. And I even put a little like on my eyelids and stuff too. I just go all out with it. because I love this stuff and it feels so good on your skin too. It feels so light. And it doesn't feel heavy or like thick or anything like that. It's really nice. And it pairs really well with my mineral makeup that I'm about to use. And you can kind of see like a difference already in how my skin looks just from the uh, putty primer. The next product I use after the putty primer is my Cary Grand Min Mineral Makeup. So here's what it looks like. Um, it just comes in this little uh, container right here. So like any other mineral makeup, when you open it up, it looks like that. Now, I love this stuff. This is specifically made for mature aging skin, although you could use it at any age. It's beautiful makeup. I used to use this a lot before, and I kind of stopped using it and started using heavier foundations because I was having an issue with facial hair, but now I'm getting laser hair removal, so that I, that's not really an issue for me anymore, so I can use a lighter makeup. And I love this stuff because it gives really nice coverage, but also it doesn't feel heavy. It feels so light. It almost feels like you're not wearing any makeup at all. So I just get a little on this brush and I use the EcoTools R2 RT400 brush and then I just like buff this into my skin over the top of the uh, putty primer. One thing about the Cary Grand makeup is it is not cheap but it is well worth it if you have wrinkles and just aging skin in general. It's well worth it and it lasts a long time too. Another great thing about it is you can order sample packs. I think it used to be $15. I'm not sure if it's the same now, um, but you used to be able to order a sample pack of different colors. Like uh, you could order all the light shades or all the medium shades or all the dark shades. And so you can see which one fit you best. And then when you order a full size, after you order the sample, they will put the price that you paid for the sample towards your full size. So that was really helpful to me. I ordered all the light colors and found out that I was like a shade two. And so then I ordered the shade two and they put my $15 towards this. I really think the e.l.f. Putty Primer and the Cary Grand Mineral Makeup pair so well together on my skin. So here's how it looks. It even covered up like my melasma up here, my discoloration. I have a little pimple right there it covered up. Now I also have some Cary Grand Concealer that I will sometimes use, but that stuff is strong, okay? So here's what the concealer looks like and it, it doesn't take much of this stuff at all. So I will just use another little fluffy eco tools brush for this and just, I mean, barely get any, like seriously. It's so easy to overdo this. And I will put it on, I have a blemish right here, so I'll just put it on there to cover that up. See how nice that covers that? And you do not need much. And then I'm gonna take my big brush and kind of like buff it out. Cause I feel like the concealer is a little bit lighter than the foundation. One thing I do not do is I never put concealer under my eyes anymore because it just creases and looks horrible. I kind of prefer like an alternative look so I don't mind if I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes, but I just, um, I don't put any liquid or powder concealer under my eyes at all anymore because I find it just creases and looks worse and just, just like enhances my lines more. So when I do my makeup, my powder makeup, I'll just kind of, you know, brush like this, but I don't really put anything specifically under there. Okay, next thing I do is blush. Now, I have some Cary Grand blush, but this stuff a little goes a long way on this stuff, okay? Here's how it looks. And this will probably last me literally for years, this container of this. So I use my same brush that I use for the foundation and I get like just barely any, barely any on there. And I just do it on my cheekbone a little bit. But like you can, it's so easy to overdo it with this blush, with this mineral blush, like so easy. 
I also have this uh, contour palette that I really like, Maybelline New York Master Contour uh, by Face Studio, Face Contouring Kit. So I don't really do a lot of contouring, honestly. I don't really understand how it works that much. I've watched some YouTube tutorials, but this is actually my preferred blush. I like this blush better than the Cary Grand. I just find it easier to use and apply, and then sometimes I will also go in with the highlighter right here and put a little just above the blush. But that's about all I do for contouring, honestly. I didn't say I was good at makeup. I said I was just gonna tell you what I use, okay? <laughs> so here's how my face is looking so far. So next I'm gonna do my eyes. So I've already shown you how I do a smoky eye in my Get Ready With Me video. So I'm gonna show you instead the look that I've been doing recently because it's summertime, it's hot outside. I don't wanna do a lot to my eye and I've been going out during the day a lot. I've been using this as one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and I've had it for years and it is busted up, okay? But it's the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. I bought this probably like five years ago, literally. So I don't even know if they still make this. If they do, I will link to it down below. So what I do is I take my EcoTools Deluxe Crease Brush and I take this second, I take this matte color right here. You can tell I've used it the most. And I just um, like sweep it all over my eyelids, like all the way to the top, just like that. And just cover my eyelids um, and above my eyelids too in that just neutral matte color. And then I take my finger, my middle finger, and depending on how I feel, I will take either this light, very light copper shimmery shade or the slightly darker one. Today I'm just going to do the light one. And I just put it on my eyelid and I just pat it on. I just pat it all on my eyelid and a little bit above my eyelid because I have hooded eyes. So you can't really see my eyeshadow when my eyes are closed unless I put it above my crease. Then I will take my brush again and just kind of like blend that in a little bit to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. And then if I'm feeling extra fancy, I'll take a little bit of the darker copper and just put that right in the center. Just put it right in the center of my eyelid like this and a little bit above. So that's just my very, very neutral eye look that I've been doing lately. So then the last thing that I do is take my e.l.f. like, I don't know what this is called. It's like a slanted brush, but I'll link to it. This is what it looks like. Just a slanted eyeshadow brush like that. I forget what they're called. Once again, I, I'm not great at makeup, okay? This is, I'm just showing you what I do. Um, and then I will take this very, very dark color right here and just get a little tiny bit of that and put it on my, under my lash line. So like this. Just like that, just under the, the lash line. And I do this very lightly. I try not to make it too dark when I'm doing this coppery kind of eye. But I just like the way it looks to kind of just, make it makes your lower lashes look thicker. So that's all I do there with my eyeshadow. Then I'm done with the eyeshadow. So after I finish my eyeshadow, I do my brow gel. I use this e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Gel. That's what it looks like, and I just take some of this, put it in my brows, and like comb them down and smooth them out because my brows get crazy because they are super, super thick. Um, I am, like I said, I am going to have them uh, professionally waxed soon, so I'm trying not to pluck them or cut them or anything right now. So I really need the brow gel to like tame them down. I love this clear brow gel for this reason. So if you have thick brows, I can highly recommend this stuff. I think it's like $3 a tube. And finally, the last thing I do on my eyes is my mascara. I use Maybelline the Colossal. I really need, I'm like running out and I really need some more. My tubes all faded, but I use Maybelline the Colossal mascara. I really love this stuff, but I got, it's like I'm almost out. I need some more. So I just do like one or two coats of this on the top and bottom lashes. I was blown blessed with very long and thick natural eyelashes. It's one of my best features in my opinion, so I don't need a lot of mascara and I never wear, wear fake lashes. But that's pretty much my summer eye look and my summer face look right there. So then I take a wet washcloth and I get all of the makeup off of my lips and this also exfoliates your lips. So it's really good to like rub them down with a washcloth every day. And after I've exfoliated, then I put on whatever lipstick I'm going to use for the day. Honestly, I mostly use my homemade um, lip balm that I made from like cocoa butter and sweet almond oil and beeswax. Um, there is a video of me doing that somewhere on my channel, but I love this stuff. And it's pretty much all I use. 
Although sometimes if I want to get extra fancy, I will use this um, lifter, Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I love this stuff. I have this in like a copper color. It's really pretty. Sometimes I'll use that if I want to get extra fancy. But that's pretty much it. That's my makeup routine for my 40 year old skin. And here's how my face looks afterwards. Obviously I'm still a person. There's no filters or anything on. This is how my skin actually looks. I love how luminous and dewy it looks with the Cary Grand and the Elf Putty Primer. And I just, I like it. I like the way it looks. Um, once again, I'm no like expert makeup artist or anything. I'm just a normal 40 year old woman who never learned how to do makeup when she was a teenager. And this is, this is what I got. This is what I got going on. So after I do my makeup, then I blow dry my hair. So I'm going to take my hair out of this towel and brush it. I hate my hair being wet because you can really see how thin it is. Although I am making progress with my hair growth. If you're new to my channel, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which means I have, I have higher than normal levels of androgens in my body and it causes me to have female pattern baldness. And um, there was a time when I was almost completely bald and my hair has grown back a lot, but I still have a lot of thinness up here and it makes me very self-conscious. So I don't like having my hair wet for very long. Um, what I do is blow dry it after I get out of the shower because that helps. I, I don't like to do heat treatments on my hair, but it does help make it look thicker and fuller. So that's why I do it. Uh, maybe someday, if it ever gets thicker than this, I'll stop blow drying it. But I use Tresemme uh, Protecting Heat Spray on my hair before I blow dry it. Okay, my camera died on me, but I did get my uh, hair blow dried. So I always do that after I do my makeup, just so my hair doesn't get in the way when I'm doing my makeup. And now you can see a little bit better um, what I look like. So I think it looks pretty good. Like I'm happy with this look um, for just my normal everyday summertime look. And then finally the last thing I do, this isn't really makeup, but I still like to share this because this is my favorite perfume. It's called Clinique Happy. Here's what it looks like. You can get a good discount on this on eBay. I know I've talked about that before. It's kind of expensive if you get it from Clinique. But um, if you get it on eBay, I got this bottle for $26 and it smells so good. All right, all done. Now I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna open packages. Okay, I've got three subscriber packages that I'm gonna open here. The first one is from Ireland, okay. So this is from, oh, Kaleidoscopic Star. Thank you so much. Um, it looks like you sent me some candles and cards oh my gosh thank you so much and thank you for the very sweet letter here um cards by anastasia.tasau and at selflove.shop on instagram so i'll put this up here to show you guys um this is where these cards are from it says open when you feel lost open when you have stuff to do open when you feel sad open when you feel alone open when you feel insecure oh my gosh i love these i'm gonna open every one of these because i feel all of these things a lot um open when you feel hopeless when you feel uninspired when you need a friend when you feel hopeful and when you feel happy oh my gosh i'm gonna have to open these on vlogs whenever i am feeling these ways that is awesome thank you so much for that that is such a cool idea i never even knew anything like this existed but i love that thank you so much and then I believe, so she made some candles and sent them to me. Oh, look at these, how cute. Oh, they smell really good too. I think I'm gonna put these on my desk, my little desk area over there so I can burn these when I'm writing in my journal. Oh, these are stickers. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of stickers here, y'all. Okay, we need to have a sticker party. I think in my next members only live stream, we are going to be getting all my stickers out and decorating the herb cabinet because y'all, it's, it's way past time. Like I have such a collection of stickers. Thank you so much. I love all of these beautiful gifts. I really do appreciate that. Next up is an Amazon package, I do believe. I wonder what this could be. Wow, let's, uh, let's open it up and see. Five pack ladies dry fit active v-neck tops in medium. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You didn't know this, but this is so perfect because when I get back from vacation, uh, beginning at the beginning of September, I'm gonna start walking every morning around Whittington Park for exercise. And this, these are awesome. These will be perfect for that. There's five of them in here, five different colors, one for Monday through Friday. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I gotta see who these are from y'all. Just some solid t-shirts for you from Stephanie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. 
I wanted you to try these Levi shorts. They are a go-to for me for comfort. They are Bermuda length, but so cute. I hope size eight isn't too big. So she sent me the active shirts and she also sent me a pair of Levi shorts. Oh my God, this is perfect. Signature Levi uh, Bermuda shorts right here. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, these actually fit me perfectly. If anything, they might be a little bit tight. So I can probably wear these for a long time. That's awesome, thank you so much. I will definitely be taking these on my vacation with me. Finally, my last gift. This is very heavy. I'm pretty sure this is a case of dog food from Olya, but I will open it up to make sure. She did tell me she was sending me some, which is so freaking sweet. Yup, it's dog food. <laughs> thank you so much, Olya. This is the third time she says dog food, y'all, and believe me, I use every bit of it. So. Thank you so much for that. It's the science diet, the kind that my dogs love, and I'm gonna feed them some of this tonight for dinner. So I guess that's gonna wrap up today's vlog, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to click the join button down below if you wanna join me for weekly members only live streams and show a little support to the channel. I really appreciate all of my channel members and everybody who watches my vlogs for any reason whatsoever. I love you, thank you. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.